first video that I'm trying to, to make today. And this is what I see as soon as I log in. A new patch is available. Please restart the game after it finishes installing. Okay, so how big is this patch? It is three hours for me to download this thing. I mean, yeah, it's going pretty good over there. You know, 3.85, 3.86, uh, 3.87, 3.88. So, I mean, it might not be a three-hour deal, but it could be. And that's the part that kind of really just bugs the life out of me. Like, I love playing this game, but I'm like, can I play this game? Or am I always going to be <laughs> sitting here downloading patches? So, uh, if you guys... If you guys are uh, having anything like this, uh, let me know. Send me a comment down below. Uh, let me know what kind of problems that you guys are having with uh, patches taking very, very long time to download. Um, let me know about, you know, bugs in the game, things like that. Because I mean, on the upside, I, on one hand, I'm very, very happy. You know, I, I see these patches and I'm going, oh, thank God you fixed something else. Okay, that's good. Uh, on the other hand, I'm like. <sighs> three hours before I can play again uh, so what's going on with this patch that's three hours where I can play again because I'd like to play now and I'm not sure what the new patch is supposed to be about um, so I'm not really sure what's going on here but I got three hours apparently where I, I'm just sitting here doing nothing uh, I guess there's a whole bunch of stuff going on online about what the patch is supposed to have going on. Um, according to what I'm seeing here, it says that uh, Bethesda's revealed the, the patch notes. Uh, they did server maintenance today. So, it says today's update is pretty substantial. The new patch will make the game more stable, alter elements of the in-game economy, and squash bugs. Players have been log logging since January 15. The last big update to the game. Okay, well. Let's see. In general, performance. Several additional improvements have been made to in-game performance. Wow. Not a lot of detail there. Uh, stability. The game... Fallout 76 game client and servers have received additional stability improvements. Okay. So you guys made the servers more stable. That's cool because, I mean, I've been kicked out dozens of times. It just freezes and then tells me that it lost the world or something. Balance changes. Perks. The damage bonuses provided by each rank of the demolition perk have been reduced from 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100% to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 to match other weapon perk damages. Oh, that's going to suck. Uh, so I guess there's no longer that great of a different uh, reason to, to get the demolition perk. Because, I mean, the max demolition perk is 60% instead of 100%. That is 40% less damage than max. So, yeah, that kind of reduces the want to make explosives. So I'm not really sure what, what that was about. Uh, perks, the condition, loss, bonuses provided by each rank of the White Knight and the Licensed Plumber perks have been reduced from 30, 60, 90 to 20, 40, 60. So again, there's a 30% a loss on the top. That kind of sucks. Um, weapons, the Explosive Legendary Mod damage bonus has been reduced from 100% to plus 20% of base damage. Again, sucks. Weapons, the two-shot legendary effect damage bonus has been reduced from 100 to plus 25% of a damage base weapon damage. Um, sucks. So they're reducing damage, basically. Flamers, cryolators, plasma weapons, and laser weapons no longer spawn with the explosive legendary mod. Camp, crafting, and workshop, scrapping, loose weapon, and armor mods are not protected from auto-scrapping when crafting. However, they can still be scrapped manually if a player wants to break them down into scrap components. Okay. 
turrets, an owned tag will now appear next to the names of turrets a player has built in their camp or workshop. Didn't really think we needed that, but okay. Carry weight is now capped to an absolute limit of 1,500 pounds over the character's current maximum carry weight. For example, if your weight limit is 210 pounds, your maximum limit is 1,710. Characters will now be unable to exceed this new weight limit moving forward. Characters who already exceed this weight limit will be unable to add any additional items or caps to their inventories until so they've reduced their carry weight below the cap. These limits exist primarily to keep servers from performing poorly, which can happen when we have too many items in the game world. Cap stashes. To help address cap exploits, cap stashes have been turned into containers, which allow them to properly reset and provide players with enhanced loot. Or instant, instant loot. Okay. Uh, when viewing a plan or recipe in the menu, a known tag will now appear next to the names of recipes and plans that you've already learned. Didn't really think we needed that. I just want it where... If I learn something I've already learned before, um, I can either toss it out of my inventory because there's no point in having it, or give me a small buff again. Uh, vendors, recipes and plans and vendor inventories no longer randomized and can now rely be reliably sourced from those vendors, with the exception of some minor workshop and camp plans. Okay. A server-wide message will now appear when a player joins a hunter hunted queue. This message will only be displayed once per player to avoid spam. Huh. 